as you meander amongst the tide pools, sea caves, and crashing waves along the shores, you may not realize you're walking on top of thousands of small decapod crustaceans. Emerita analoga, or more commonly known as sand crabs or mole crabs. They live life in reverse, always swimming, digging, and moving backwards since they can't move forwards or sideways at all. This is also how they eat. They burrow backwards in the sand and hang out their retractable antenna, which allows water to pass through a tube to the gills and filter out food when the water is high enough. Their biology is perfectly designed for life in these unstable sands. Their eyes on long stalks to project above the sands and their elongated dome-shaped bodies allow for super fast burrowing. They can bury themselves in one and a half seconds. Females are almost twice as large as the males and can be seen with an orange egg mass on her underside during mating season when she can lay up to 45,000 eggs every month. They love exposed sandy beaches and are frequently found on Southern California beaches like you see in this video, but they can be found as far north as Alaska and even south to Baja and are a favorite bait of fishermen because fish, like these surf perch, love to eat them. Sand crabs occasionally molt, which is why you see so many of their shells or exoskeletons on the beaches, but you'll also see their remnants being picked over by scavengers like these tiny commando isopods, cousin to the roly pulleys or pill bugs you see in your yard. But isopods and bait fishermen aren't the only creatures that love to snap up these sand crabs. These snowy egrets love to hunt around for them as well. These crabs move in time with the tides and the waves, coming up to the surface of the sand to eat when the waves come in, and burrowing back down when they go out, moving up and down the beaches with the tides to keep themselves in the swash zones. But this makes them vulnerable to shorebirds like sanderlings, plovers, willets, and especially these egrets that love to munch on these little fellas. They scurry along the surf's edge waiting for their snacks, but this can be dangerous for them because these little crabs have various parasitic worms inside them, and if the birds eat enough, these worms can kill them. So next time you find yourself on the beach, have fun watching the birds and see if you can dig up some of these delightful backwards beach wonders.